My gran, when I told her that I was gay, I wrote her a letter. She prayed for protection for me. I thought it was a really sweet prayer. She could have prayed for anything else. You know, she could have prayed for this to go away. Lord, save this child. But she was just like, Lord, keep this child safe. And I was like, boom, she's understanding. She knows what's going on. It's a tough world out here. She's got my back. My name is Marvin Dumeso Mwabe, and I'm 27. Being a Zulu black gay man, yo, 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 yo. It's interesting. They should actually put like a course like this in school, part of life orientation. We don't know what it is. People aren't informed about it and people aren't willing to find out what it actually means to be gay in the Zulu culture. And you have to be a man, a man's man who has a woman. You have all those 2.5 kids, that's serious stuff. The, you know, the hardcore, so it's a bit difficult to go Zulu. Oi, smash. Already you've got the stigma of black people. We all know our struggle. Black lives matter, but that's a story for another day. But being black and gay, you're going against so much. Basically, is the teacher. my HB pencil. Like, we know how to dress. That's one thing I know for a fact about style and fashion. Here in Durban, we have got it. I think stereotypes are hilarious. You know, they're funny because they ha there's a bit of truth in everything. So one stereotype I feel that needs to be broken about gay men, we don't want to be women. Like, homosexual, homo, same sex. Just because I'm gay doesn't mean that I'm not a man. That's who I am. I am a man first, before I become a gay man, before I become a black man. Biologically, I am a man. My second mind shift happened where I was in a social environment. I was in university. I was studying in Grahamstown at the time. And we were just chilling at a bride. Cigarettes are going around, we're sharing, we're mixing drinks for each other. And at some point it came to a whole conversation about homosexuality. And of course I was surrounded by a lot of uh, Zimbabwean guys who have a very strong heterosexual viewpoint in life. They're very patriarchal to a point where it affected me so much that I ended up reading a book. I had to get a book, Dinner, by, Dinner with Robert Mugabe because I needed to understand the actual psyche. All those thoughts and revelations and knowledge and ideologies came back to me and I was just like, but guys, I'm sitting right here and I'm gay. You've laughed at my jokes, you've smoked my cigarettes, you've drank the drink I've mixed for you. And not once were you exposed to this homosexuality that is such a, a plague or a disease or a sin. Another myth, I'll call this a myth, because it's not a stereotype, this is just a myth because that every straight man is the gay man's dream. No, you are not. You know, maybe Colin Farrell, maybe Will Smith, maybe Idris Alba, you know, and even then, we know it's not going to happen. There is no way Idris Alba is going to knock on your door at like half past 12 and be like, you will not believe what I want to do to you right now. That's not going to happen. Men are getting married to beautiful women, having families and children. But I tell you now, let's go out to the club at 11 o'clock there he is, hitting my ass up. It's like, no, but like, I saw you in Musgrave Center last week Saturday, pushing the pram and the trolley and being a married man. What do you want here? No, nobody needs to know. What is your problem? Do you see a laboratory here? This face right here, this one right here. This is the face of South Africa. They're vibrant, energetic, I'm in your face. I'm free to actually engage with my space. If you can accept yourself, if you can wake up in the morning and you look at yourself in the mirror and you're just like, you know what, Marvin? Today you are fire. Get out there and burn.